What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andy and today I'm gonna to be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA saga. And uh, for today's video I have uh, several amazing news uh, that uh, is directly related to our story. I will show you that one of the largest MMTLP shareholder was on a Zoom call uh, with the top level of Congress. And uh, on top of that, uh, I will show you the event uh, that is scheduled for December the 8th. And uh, it is uh, exactly one year from uh, the illegal U3 halt of MMTLP shares. On top of that, uh, I will show you some results regarding uh, Richard Hoffman's arbitration. And I will show you the exact timeline uh, for this arbitration as well. So, and before we dive deep into all of this, guys, please hit the like button for YouTube algorithm. It is the simplest uh, action that uh, you might take in order to push uh, our case forward to the broader audience. Everything else uh, will uh, do the YouTube algorithm. So just hit the like button. And let's start with the news itself. We are the MTLP resources and here you can see the article that is titled Greg McCabe has our back with congressional Zoom call. McCabe, the chairman of Nextbridge Hydrocarbons and one of the largest MMTLP shareholders, was on a Zoom call today with the highest levels of Congress. This is a huge deal. We know from past disclosures that Nextbridge uh, tried negotiating with FINRA, but those negotiations uh, broke uh, down long ago. It was reported today on X space call by community member Don Fees that he attended a congressional Zoom call with community members JR, Jen and Greg McCabe from Nextbridge. Here's uh, the uh, uh, tweet that uh, is describing this. Greg McCabe uh, of uh, Nextbridge Hydrocarbons spoke to the highest level of government today. Greg, I want the shareholders to have a happy Thanksgiving. I'm also proud of this community. You are all kings and queens. And uh, Meta News also posted this update. Greg McCabe in talks uh, with the highest person of the federal government regarding MMTLP. Greg McCabe is the director and chairman of Nextbridge Hydrocarbons uh, board of directors. Greg McCabe in talks with the highest level of the government regarding MMTLP. Mr. McCabe, when I spoke to him, said he wants everybody in uh, this community to have happy Thanksgiving and to let everybody know that the Nextbridge is engaged. They are fighting for you. We are fighting for you. I am fighting for you. You are fighting for you. We are all fighting. And uh, I have to say that, yes, uh, every achievement uh, regarding our case uh, is on our side. And uh, we as a community and we as each and every community member, we've uh, done it and we've achieved it. And definitely we need uh, to do even more in order to win this battle. But we are on the right path. So here is the explanation that we don't know what the talks are about. And uh, I have to say that uh, I don't think that it might be the position close only settlement because uh, Greg McCabe uh, transferred his shares to AST and uh, AST shares are not eligible for free trading. That is why I don't think that it might be the case, uh, but uh, definitely it should be some kind of settlement. And this settlement should be in a favor of uh, MMTLP shareholders. So let me quote to this. Don Fizz reported that Next Bridge is engaged and uh, fighting for all of us. McCabe is also one of the largest MMTLP shareholders, coming in with almost 13 million shares of energy company. And uh, yes, I think uh, the results uh, will be very, very soon and uh, we have to wait, passionately wait. And uh, as uh, long as we don't have uh, these results, we have to do even more. And one of uh, these actions, uh, let me show you, here is the announcement of another event that uh, will happen uh, within just a couple of weeks. And uh, this is uh, the article that is titled Occupy FINRA coming to an office near you. Last time it was Occupy SEC, and now 11 months later the new plan is to Occupy FINRA on December the 8th. A recent post on X has shared a new movement called Occupy FINRA, which is coming up uh, in a few weeks. So here is uh, the poster of uh, this event and it says December the 8th 2023, calling for a national protest of all of the FINRA locations in the United States. 
December the 8th marks as a year since MMTLP was halted, and FINRA hasn't issued a resolution for MMTLP shareholders, regardless of the 20 plus Congress member and senators' inquiries. Here you can see the screenshot of uh, several letters. One of them is a letter of Fearless 15 and a couple of others. I don't want to dig deep uh, inside this. But on the left side, you can see four members of MMTLP community that passed during the year. And uh, it is very sad uh, to realize it. But yes, uh, this is uh, really upset uh, when people will not see the resolution of this problem despite uh, their involvement uh, in this process. So, I have to say that uh, last event uh, that uh, took place uh, at the very beginning of this year was in regards to uh, Occupy SEC. And if you want to know more about the results, uh, you can watch this video at the bottom of this article. And definitely, it was a great experience for all of the community members. Because there, a lot of uh, MMTLP community members uh, met uh, with each other in person. And uh, there, we realized that uh, we are the real power. And uh, I think uh, the upcoming event also should be very important. And if you want to attend, uh, here you can see the locations of uh, FINRA's uh, offices. And uh, basically, just uh, follow my YouTube channel and uh, subscribe in order not to miss the next video. And I will show you an update regarding this event. So, let me show you another news that is very important. Uh, Richard Hoffman uh, uh, published an, an update regarding his arbitration. And let me remind you, he was one of the community members uh, who filed a lawsuit against uh, FINRA. And for now, he is in the arbitration process uh, with Fidelity. And here is uh, some results of uh, this process. Uh, this uh, video was published just seven hours ago. And uh, I highly suggest you to subscribe to his YouTube channel, Not Legal Advice, KNOT, because uh, there you can find a lot of very useful information regarding our case and regarding other cases uh, of uh, illegal uh, actions uh, on the securities uh, markets. So, let me show you just uh, several details regarding this uh, arbitration. Uh, Richard uh, has a clear uh, deadlines uh, for the actions, uh, and uh, he said uh, that January 31st uh, is the last day when Richard can submit discovery requests uh, to other side. Responses to that discovery are due March 31st. On top of that, uh, he said that... Uh, a pre-hearing discovery conference is set uh, to April 30th, and the trial arbitration will start June 17th, 2024. And uh, I have to say that uh, it is quite a long path uh, to the trial itself, but uh, definitely it is uh, much shorter than any litigation process, because arbitration uh, is uh, a completely different procedure. And if you want to know more about uh, the details of this procedure, I highly suggest you to subscribe to his YouTube channel. And uh, I have to say that uh, Richard also mentioned that uh, FINRA might issue a protective order on some uh, documents. And uh, these documents uh, definitely uh, will uh, be available for the arbiters uh, and uh, Richard himself. But these documents uh, will not be eligible for disclosure. And on the one side, uh, yes, uh, we can understand that some documents uh, might uh, have uh, some sensitive information. But on the other side, uh, I have to say that uh, the process uh, by itself should bring a lot of clarity on uh, the resolution and on the problem in general. And if uh, all the documents uh, will be protected uh, by this order, the result might be not so clear. So, on top of that, uh, Richard also asked uh, to forward him uh, the documents uh, if uh, they are important uh, and if uh, it is uh, related uh, to fidelity. Because uh, his process uh, is related to fidelity itself. And uh, if you have uh, some documents uh, regarding the MMTLP problem, the next bridge hydrocarbons, uh, and these documents directly related to fidelity, feel free to send uh, him these documents and uh, he will add these documents to his uh, arbitration process. So, I think uh, that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. 
and see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack.